Hi, welcome to Superior Drift Garage. Today we're back under the car because we have to take care of this big elephant in the room and that is our wastegate. Uh, last year when we did the dynos, uh, the tuner blamed the wastegate for not performing the way it should be. That's why we didn't get the numbers that we should. At that time showed that basically they're on back order everywhere. Well, we're in a new year right now, so it's 2023. Things are still on back order, but there's less things on back order these days. Crappy and knockoff turbo works wastegate, and we're going to take it off. But in order for us to take it off and replace it with a tile, is remove everything. Uh, the manifold has to come off because the flange is going to be different. There's no room over here to weld anything whatsoever. So the project is going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, simply because there's a lot of things and the bolts are not really that reachable from any direction. Alright, I got the first part. Wow. Yes, the turbo is out, uh, so now I will have a little bit more room to work with the bolts, hopefully. Uh, why did I decide to pull the whole thing like this? Is because I have coolant lines and oil lines, everything running to it. I only freed the oil drain and everything else seems to be uh, accessible. So yeah, uh, that snapped. How the hell did it snap? I have no idea. I heated it just to make sure it comes off easy, but nope, that clamp decided to be one time use. Because of that flange that's over there, let me zoom into it a little bit. Yeah, that flange over here, uh, I am unable to, oof, to pull out the exhaust manifold because the engine is in the way and the frame is in the way and everything's in the way. A few hours later. A heat wrap that was on the exhaust manifold. Because the heat wrap was actually breaking down and apart and was really brittle. I decided to remove it and rewrap it once again. But as an update, I tried to see if there's any way I can put the manifold back in without removing anything. But now the engine mount is in the way every single time. Manifold is back on the car. Uh, now it's time for me to match and see how well I can install that wastegate. Uh, definitely new tube will be going down, but I have to make sure that I clear the oil lines and nothing touches every, anywhere. And I'm, I have a straight shot down for the dump, because this, this time the dump is not going to go through the hood. We're just going to dump it down to the ground or towards the side somewhere. A slightly angled 2-inch pipe mounted and tech welded. This particular uh, adapter for the tile. The tile is empty right now. There's no springs, nothing in it. So let me show you guys what I think would be great way to put it in. I'm thinking it should sit somewhere around this area, just like that. I made it a little shorter. We're gonna rock about six inches to the wastegate, which would be five and a half of the pipe extension, which sounds pretty good to me. It brings it down about the length I would expect it to come down 
away from the hoses, the coolant hoses as well, and the intercooler piping, as well as the turbo drain still has room to go. Grind it off some of the discolorization. I think that's pretty okay for our welding. So now the manifold comes off again, so the engine has to be lifted. Manifold comes off again, and we will weld that pipe. Or is it? There we go. That pipe onto that one, where the mark is. The wonderful uh, process of wrapping the exhaust manifold, I kind of started already and I already want to quit. That's how bad it is. So we will take, I should put gloves on, but okay. Uh, the tape, dump it into water, let it soak, and we will try to get this nicely wrapped. So I took this project uh, project home because there is really hard for me to find time at the shop to get things done. And my idea was to TIG weld uh, this pipe. This pipe is gonna, going to come off the wastegate and it will dump straight to the ground. This diameter was a little bit wider, so I cut it, cut the pipe in half, squeezed it, re-welded it, I TIG welded this one. So my TIG weld on this one looks okay, it's not bad. I would actually approve of this one but what I'm using is a lift tag uh, at home and I absolutely hate lift tag I cannot get it to light up nice enough or good enough in order for me to weld this and it seems that this particular steel uh, melts really really quickly but basically the idea is to weld this pipe to this one right here and our exit pipe like that but I believe it's time for me to actually invest in a more proper TIG welding machine uh, other than the lift TIG which is absolutely horrible uh, for this particular application what we got going the wastegate is finally up everything is mounted everything is good to go the only thing I left is to make the dump. Right, where is this camera? Right down here. Straight pipe in between sway bar and the steering rack. Why in that spot? It's the shortest distance to the ground and I just don't feel like running it back towards the hood anymore. Perfect spacing, nothing touches. Excellent.
last car is going to sit. There's plenty of room over here. Plenty of room around as well. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully it's better than last year going. And this is still dripping water. Alright, let it drip. I'll get back to it. So the last two clips that you guys have, guys have seen were total overboost on a totally new wastegate, which uh, that's not supposed to happen. Obviously, there was a big problem. Uh, I have tested numerous times off camera with my dad to see what the heck is going on, because it seemed like there was no pressure from the turbo going through the mag valve and into the wastegate, which caused a lot of issues with overboosting. The wastegate was never opening. So what the deal is? Uh, I contacted Kami from K64 out of Poland and I went through his instructions of to figure out what's going on uh, He first told me you know run from the turbo I mean the line from the turbo to the wastegate just to eliminate anything in between and drive it I drove it and the car performed great and it drove great. No issues. No problems So our we narrowed it down that the mag valve was the issue you can test the mag valve if it's hooked up correctly right in the EMU so what you would have to do is basically go into a EMU which I have it pulled up over here tools test outputs put in whichever one you are looking for on whichever channel it is and hit test I have done that and every time I did that the mag valve was opening closing was making noise that it was connected so it's like, what the heck is going on? And that's when I asked Camille to connect to my computer while the car was actually hooked up to the laptop, running, everything was just there. So he went through some settings and he's like, who the hell wrote that map? Uh, right here. This is boost DC reference. And this is our boost target. This is 30 PSI and above. This one, I have no idea what he was trying to do. Uh, basically, what, what I'm getting with this is this tune was absolutely, or at least the map for the boost was totally trashed. I have no idea what the tuner did and what was in his mind when he was doing this. So that's the first thing that Kami found is this being a big issue. And the other big issue that we have is the the boost solenoid output was red i asked the gentleman from blueprint where the tune was made or performed uh, why is the output here in red this one right here why does it show in red uh, he t his ex answer was oh just because that's how emu shows you when something is connected and that is absolutely not true as it turns out, what he has done while trying to figure out the boost map or something, he uh, managed to assign output for fuel map and boost solenoid on the same channel, which can be seen right here. When you apply both of them to the same channel, that's just catastrophic issue right there, uh, simply because the mag valve, even though it's hooked up and tested correctly, it is not working absolutely at all. Uh, it's not allowing for anything to happen, and that's why we've been having issues with the boost from the very get-go. 
which means it was not necessary for me to replace that wastegate because that wastegate worked. It worked on the bench, it would have worked in the car if this option has been cleared up. Like when he did the <laughs> which is this is what really kills me. When he did the tune, <clears throat> he actually ran the whole map. He built everything the whole map with anti lag on. Which also was not set up. Uh, ALS on EMU Classic has to be set up to your boost map and boost target. And he threw a huge amount of boost onto the ALS just so the car seems like it's running right, but it wasn't running right. That's why we kept over boosting, and that's why we were hitting crazy P like 32 to 35 psi of boost where we're not supposed to be that high, no matter what we do. And that's probably why my power numbers were so crappy, simply because we didn't, we weren't able to control the boost due to literally his errors. Now I'm not going to go into the whole deal of how much money I spent on actually at Blueprint Motorsport because that it doesn't really matter. It was way too much, but it's mostly the time that I wasted, and it just even though after. If the car was tuned let's say he the only way it worked is he limited the rpms the car could actually achieve which then caused the turbo wasn't able to spool up fast enough to fully uh, do a really hardcore fuel cut so <laughs> that's how he managed to make it look like he knew what he was doing I'm glad the engine didn't blow up because this is really really bad Make sure that whenever you get to any facility that says they know you, uh, ECU Master, make sure they actually know ECU Master, otherwise we're going to have the same problems. And it's just a lot of wasted time, a lot of money, and especially the car still runs like shit. I've been complaining about the car running like shit from the very beginning. Uh, I think from episode number 7 of the engine build. Because that's when we hit the last dyno and we came up with the 553 wheel horsepower. Which uh, even I was told by the guy from Poland that I should be in the 650-700 range easy with my setup. Because that's what they are achieving in Europe on basic fuel like pump gas, not E85. And all it took is just a few clicks in the computer that I honestly, I should have looked. It is also my fault. I should have looked what he did, I should have went through all the options, but honestly I would have never ever thought that he, a guy with knowledge and the tune scars and seems like he's a big shot in the whole uh, tuning business I would guess, he would know what he's doing when it comes to uh, a program that supposedly he knows. EMU Classic versus EMU Black is literally Almost the same thing. Obviously, you will have more options in the EMU Black, which we're not even going to ever use. So EMU Black was not necessary. But that's that's pretty much uh, where we're sitting at. I, I'm sorry for this thing for this explanation to be so darn long, but I just wanted to say it straightforward. If you drive anything but an Evo, and you planning on having your cartoon by Blueprint Motorsports out of Romeoville, do not go to that place. You're better off waiting for a, on a long list for any other shop that will actually do it properly instead of going over there, having them half as the job, and then you're going through a lot of issues having somebody else fix it. It makes absolutely no sense. So, thank you for watching. Please enjoy the rest of the content. And uh, next video I'll try to get it on the, out to a track to actually test it on the track and see if it performs the way it should be. Uh, also I want to mo monitor the Lambda a little bit more just to make sure I am running rich enough not to cause any issues on the 85. And yeah, just got to start enjoying the car this year because last year I barely ever used it because it was absolutely embarrassing to take it to a track or anywhere where it's been constantly an issue and I was always afraid like what's gonna happen if I start being the shot of it but yeah
get us some room. There we go again. Ha 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 